Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and jelly babies. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. Morris here once again. Of course it is. Who else would it be? There's no one else here. First things first. I just remembered I can do this. What's this? There's two people injured now? Don't worry about it. Pinello's got it. One, two, three, four heals. God, I love it. It's such a sexy sound effect as well. <laughs> I forgot about that. So yes, at the end of the last part, Vossler joined the party as a guest. And I'll treat him like a guest. I'll treat him like the greatest, like, like royalty in my house, I tell you. Because he's going to be a massive help for this whole section. But of course he is. That's why he's here. Okay, nobody step on... Alright. Well, Vosler, you know what? You're a guest, so I can't blame you. It was my fault. It was my fault. I should have yelled even louder. And Pinello has no magic. I don't remember that being the case. Oh. Eventually that spell will cost next to nothing, but I guess we'll have to wait a little bit. But yes, we're making our way across the Sand Sea. We're not actually in the Sand Sea, otherwise we'd be dead. And the playthrough would be over. There's a few things in this area and the next area that we need to pick up. A couple of chests. I've actually got the guide next to me just to remind me where these chests are because I didn't pick them up the first time. So, just for safety. God, this is the most... This might be the most let's play, let's play I think I've ever done in my whole life. It's just like, yeah, and then you uh, then you want to go left here, and you want to go down, and there's going to be some enemies here that you want to uh, that you want to attack, and then and then you can pick up the chests. <laughs> uh, I, I jest, I jest. It's so weird that let's plays are a thing. I think about that sometimes. I've been doing this a long time. I haven't really changed style or changed format, so I don't know what the kind of the industry standard is these days, but the fact that it's an industry at all kind of blows my mind. Is there anything down here? No. Because, you know, I just sit here and play, but, you know, people make people make a living out of it. People, people get millions of views. It's, it's it bl Honestly, it's, it blo blows my mind. I, I don't watch anybody else. I, I mean, I kind of... It, it, what's weird is I watch maybe one or two and everybody that I talk to, or have talked to in the past that does this kind of thing, also only really watches one or two, sometimes nobody. And I find that such a weird trend, that the people who do this kind of thing don't really watch anyone else do it. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a time thing, but it's also, you know, if a new game comes out, you really want to watch 20 different people play it. I don't know. Ugh. But it's a good excuse for me to keep playing. So, <laughs> that's what I tell everybody. Okay, so there should be an item behind here. This one, fortunately, is 100%. Most of the chests in this area are not 100% likely to spawn. And even if they do, not 100% likely to have the, the good item, the item that we want. I'll be picking up everything that I can. I think main priority is defense. There's a few tough areas, a couple of bosses, one in particular that I'm thinking of not so far off now. That will kick my shit in. Is that a phrase? Golden amulet, that's really good. If I if I don't upgrade some, some defense and hopefully some offense as well. Anyway, that is a thing that we just picked up. So let's take a look at it. It's not in there, that's stupid. Golden Amulet doubles license points earned, which is awesome. I don't, I don't know if, if anyone can even wear it. Well, Balthier's not wearing anything, so maybe we could get that for him. So this brings me back once again. I'm going to make this point like a hundred times over in this playthrough. I probably already have, but because back in the day, everybody could, you could, you could just buy Golden Amulets. And to have everybody getting double LP just, again, kind of... Null and voided the idea of a license board because really nothing was out of out of your grasp. You know, nothing was too far away. I don't even know where this thing's gonna be. Where are our accessories? Are they are they out here? Are they out here? Oh god, they're all the way down here. Jeez. All right. Well, we we may have to wait a little bit. Oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe, oh, golden amulet's right there. We could get that. Why the heck not? 
It's useful to have at least one person wearing it, I guess. But this is, uh, I, I don't know, I guess the, the thing about license points is that everybody is earning them even if they're not actually in the, in the current active party. But I guess it's just, if, you, if you've got something in mind, I just wear it just to wear it, but if you've got something in mind that you want to get early on for a character that needs a lot of license points so you can unlock it, then I guess it's useful for that. I just like it for convenience. If I can have double license points, then why the hell not? And most of the enemies of this part of the game, in fact, most of the way through the story areas of the game, only ever give one LP, so a max of two LP if you're wearing the golden amulet, but later on with the tougher enemies, they just be throwing LP at you like it's going out of fashion. So that's nice. Also, I am really enjoying being Bosch right now. Ugh, <laughs> ah, I love being the tank. Oh god, phone? No, don't do that. I, I don't have my phone on silent. I am expecting a call. And if I get it, I am going to take it. <laughs> I may or may not remember to cut the call out of the video. Ah, because I'm so professional. Alright, where are we going? I think we're going left here. If I remember, yep, yep, yep. Ah. So yeah, if you hear Bruno Mars and Uptown Funk just out of nowhere, don't worry about it. That's my phone. That's my ringtone, and I'll be damned if you tell me to change it. <laughs> don't tell me that song's out of fashion. That will never be out of fashion. I have a bit of a man crush on Bruno Mars. I don't know, I'm really into Michael Jackson, or I was growing up. And I don't listen to him as much, because, you know, your music taste kind of expands as you as you grow up, but... I don't know, Bruno Mars is like a, a new incarnation of that guy. He's like, I feel like, although he's never going to touch the heights of, of, of MJ, it, it feels like that's the closest we're ever going to get. So I'm into it, you know? It's a bit, it's a bit pop, you know? And I'm not into pop, but... It's good. Uh, it makes some good stuff. It's, it's different. A lot of it's different. Gil. That's shite, I think. And I think the chest that we actually wanted... Hang on. Where, where Are we in the right... I'm trying to think which screen I actually need to be in here. I think it's the next one. Oh, God. I'm lost. I'm lost already. Excellent. This map and the guide is really, really hard to follow. I think it's supposed to be a chest here with a killer bow in it. Possibly, but I guess it hasn't spawned. That's a shame. <sighs> Alright, people are leveling up, so what are we on here? Alright, I'll wait till Pinello levels up, and then I'll probably switch it out. And I think we need to head up. I need to be heading up to get what I need to get next. To get what I know will definitely be there, so... And this area is crawling with these, uh, what are they called? Uritan Yense. Yeah, it's, it's crawling with him. So, it, Bosch, is this the time to go to sleep? So you get a really big chain going. Which is pretty good, because... Like you saw there, they, they tend to hit... Not necessarily really hard, but they, they have a tendency to combo you quite a lot. Which is bad. So it's nice to get a big chain of him and be able to heal on the fly, rather than relying on Pinello like we are doing now. Uh, let's switch it out, shall we? Fran and Ash and Vaughn. So this is party number two, I guess. And I don't know why Ash's gambits are not on. Don't remember doing that. And is everybody set up okay? I haven't really checked. Yeah, we'll keep it on, keep it on cure. Switch that up to 60 so it matches Pinello. And I guess we'll we'll just go. We'll just get a cheeky bit of XP. I think what what I I think one of the things that attracts me about this game is uh, don't go asleep. Thank you. Is um, it's RPGs. I have a I have gripes with RPGs because oh wow, nice one, Vaughn. That was just that that that's that instant KO ability that that dagger just has. Uh, but yeah, I have a bit of a gripe with RPGs in that I don't like it when it's too much about the numbers. There's one thing you can't get away from in RPGs, and that's they're about the numbers. As long as you have a high enough number, whether that's level, or attack, or health, or whatever. 
It's about the numbers, and as long as they're high enough, you'll just do everything, and it's fine. You don't really need to worry. But I think, I feel like in this one, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can level as much as you want, but I don't think there's much point. And I think it kind of takes away from the, the experience a little bit, just being overleveled, but that's just a personal preference. But I think that this game, I, I feel like a lot of it is about strategy as well as numbers. Yes, you have to be within a reasonable level to actually <laughs> go through these areas. I'm not saying that, you know, I could, I want to be able to breeze through it at level one. That is, uh, that's not at all what I'm saying. But my point is, I like to feel as though, even though, yes, I like to be on a level playing field with the area and the boss of the area. I like to feel as though it's because of my strategy and planning and able to kind of react to what's going on and plan ahead that, you know, that's the reason I'm getting through. It doesn't come across quite as much in these earlier areas because all you're doing is hitting and you're healing sometimes. But still... It's, uh, it, it makes me feel better knowing that I'm contributing to it, Ra rather than just letting it happen, which can, you know, can be the case in some RPGs. I think that's maybe why RPGs kind of went the way they are, more action-oriented, because gameplay is king, and people want to feel as though... I, I think people... The, I, you know, I'm being... I'm generalizing. I feel like the majority of people want that feeling of being in control and contributing to a victory more than just... I'll just put the controller down and they'll attack and it's fine, you know? It's one of the things that really I enjoyed about Final Fantasy XIV, which I think I've probably mentioned it here and there because I, I played it pretty religiously for about a year. Um, I, don't, I think it was a year. Even if not, it felt like a year. But it, it was... I, I don't really play MMOs. And... The reason being is because of the whole numbers thing. I don't think the M gameplay in MMOs is, is pretty difficult to get right for somebody like me who enjoys feeling, you know, feeling like they're in control of everything. Because MMOs really are about the numbers more than anything else. And a lot of MMOs I've played, played in the past are kind of... They're, they're quite grindy at times, and it just feels like, yeah, as long as you're this level, you'll just walk it, you know, and it, it's fine, you don't really need to think. But I felt as though FF14 was a little bit more involving than that, and I, I don't know whether that was maybe down to the class that I picked. Because I, I, I remember, you know, because that, that's the worst part of MMOs, is actually deciding on your character. It's the most painstaking process in the world. Uh, there's a few chests up here. Let's, let's, let's go. I don't know what's in them, but what harm could it do to go up here? Um, so yeah, I, I remember when I was choosing my character, I, I ended up picking a, a pugilist. So hand to hand, you know, and it was a DPS character, and that's fine. But it, it felt a little bit different because it, it was almost as if there was a lot of emphasis on rotating your attacks in order to increase your speed for your next attacks, and it just—I don't know—it felt, it felt, although it was simple enough to get your head around, it just felt that little bit more involving and a little bit more like, yeah, you know, it's it's me doing this. It's not just the game playing itself, you know? I don't know. I don't know whether it's a unique example, but there was something about FF14 that was just really magical to start out. Uh, it, it, like, it, it looks really good. I played it on PS4. It looks great. It's cross-platform as well. So I was playing with a friend of mine who was playing on PC. Um, so that's something that, you know, doesn't really happen a lot generally. Never mind, I'm just MMOs. And, I don't know, the story was interesting, the world itself was interesting, I like the locations, I like the... Whoa, my goodness me! Hello! How you doing, baby? I don't think I can hit you with any of these characters, so that's great. That's great news. We're all gonna die if we stick like this. Great! Great! This is why I never come this way, I guess. Alright. Oh, it's flying away. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's... That's just fine. I think Vosler can hit it with, an, uh, with an, uh, an ability called Telekinesis. Which for some reason just hits flying enemies, I guess. Uh, let's, let's switch it back out. This is like the ranged party. So I'll, I guess just to be safe. We'll switch it out a little bit. Oh god, I need to use, I need to use an ether. I need to buy some of these if I can. 
Well, I think I can only get them from the clan shop. So I'll have to remember to do that next time we're back. Alright, let's keep it moving. But I would recommend, even if you don't play MMOs, I would recommend Final Fantasy XIV. Just to try it out. I believe, I remember reading that it's now free. Free to play up until level 35. And I remember that the, the main story, or at least kind of from the base game and the main quest line, because I played it a long time ago and there's, you know, there's different expansions out now, which I, I don't know how they affect the main story. But anyway, the point is, the final quest in that main story, I remember being, you, you had to be level 50, right? So the fact that it's free to play up until level 35 now, that's, I mean, that's over halfway in terms of all the, the quests and everything. And there's so much more to do than just the main story. So, I, I don't know, I'd, I'd say go for it, even if you don't, ooh, hi, Ethan. I'd say go for it even if you don't play MMOs, because I was really just pleasantly surprised. Which is awesome, because Final Fantasy, it, it should be awesome online, right? It's one of those games that you go, wouldn't it be so cool if this was online? It's one of those games. I, I said the same thing with the Elder Scrolls, and then they did it. And I didn't really get along with that one. Again, maybe it's just because I don't play MMOs, but that one was just... I, I just got bored. I got really, really bored with it. Sometimes it's hard to put your finger on those things. I guess they're also a lot more fun to play with other people, and I was kind of playing that one by myself just to try it, so... But I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it. I feel like I've, I've split my party into two two groups. This seems to be like heavy hitting but pretty slow. And this one is like DPS because we got daggers and katanas in the same same thing. I don't know. This this could work. I like this. But yeah, now that we've got everyone, I don't know if I mentioned this. Now that we've got everyone, and now that everybody has got a class of their own. We're going to be switching up the party members a lot more. Just on the fly, just as we go through areas, just swap people in and out. See what works, see what doesn't. Okay, so down here, there should be a chest just around that corner. Is there? Please tell me there is. Otherwise, this was a wasted journey. Don't run in the trap. Don't, for the love of God, don't run in. There's the chest. Alright, Reflect. Pretty useless, honestly. I think there's some bosses where it, it works. I remember um, I remember watching speedruns of this game and Reflect is kind of a big deal in that because if you if you have a boss who is weak to a certain type of magic uh, and you cast Reflect on everybody and then cast magic on everybody with everybody, that's not possible anymore. Oh god, Fran. Fran baby. Fran baby baby. Please, please get some MP, please. Okay, we'll heal ourselves. We'll switch it out. But yeah, if you cast magic on everybody and cast reflect on everybody, then suddenly you're doing you're you're just getting mad combos with with uh, with magic. Not really viable in this. I'd be interested to see the speedruns of this now. Now that it's all changed. Do I even want to go this way? There's nothing else essential that we need to get. Alright, we'll, we'll go this way and we'll see what we pick up. Probably going to beeline it to the exit now. We're not getting much luck in terms of what we're getting out of these chests, which is a bit of a shame. A few decent weapons, a few bits of armor that we could have picked up there, but... Hmm, never mind. There is a merchant just before the boss at the end of the section. I can't remember for the life of me what he sells. So, <laughs> we'll just have to hope that it's something good in the way of armor and, and weapons. I don't actually have that much money on me. Eh, we'll be fine. We'll be okay. Oh, nice block. Don't run on the... Okay, well, I'll stay over here then. Boss the... Okay. 
It's it. Ugh. There's not really a lot you can do about these traps early on. It, when you get the float spell later on, you can you can just, you just run right over them, which is great. But early on, there's not a lot you can kind of do to prevent this stuff from happening. Traps are area of effect, so as long as you keep one character out of the way, you, you, you know, you'd be fine. But it's kind of frustrating because I don't really care to sort of dance around these traps. I don't want to control everybody independently in order to fight these enemies. And unfortunately, the traps do not affect the enemies, which is a bit of a shame. But I guess that makes sense because the, I, I suppose they set the traps, so the, of course. But I don't know. I don't fucking know. What am I, some kind of expert? No. Not even slightly. That was bad. That was a bad one. They're not doing status effects, so it's not too much trouble, but... Still a little bit frustrating. Wow, we're really healing a lot here. <laughs> you know what, Fran? Maybe you could maybe you just pitch in just a little bit. Who can you uh who can you heal Vaughn? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. God, this is so maxing and relaxing for me. Hmm. Something about this game. Once you get into a rhythm. And you know your strategy's working, you know your party's fine, it's so... It oh god! It's all going to shit. Suddenly. <sighs> but no, it's pretty relaxing. And this music as well? Oh. Mm. Sit back, enjoy yourself. I'm drinking coffee, by the way. That oh, seems blasphemous. Seems like I... Seems like it goes against everything I believe in. And it kind of does. I'm on a bit of a coffee thing at the moment. I'm on a bit of a change in, in diet. And for some reason, coffee is, is part of it. Don't ask me how it works, okay? I have no fucking clue why that's part of it. But there you go. It's just what I was told. <laughs> so I'm drinking a little bit more coffee than I than I used to. Mmm. It's nice, though. I don't really care for, like insane Starbucks type coffees where they just add loads of weird shit into them. But I do enjoy just regular ass coffee. Oh my goodness, no. Oh, mama. Well, we're all just gonna get out of here real quick while we just deal with this. This unfortunate turn of events. Okay, so I, I can't remember if we've run into those before. But... There are these enemies called Elementals. And we just saw one of them. And they hate it when you use magic. Oh my god, do they. They absolutely hate it when you use magic. They're normally non-hostile until you use magic. And I don't just mean offensive magic on them. I mean just generally. They don't like it when you heal your own party or anything, so... They tend to try and stop that. Not all not all of them cast silence like that, but they do tend to cast stuff. So we're gonna it seems to have gone now actually. They only spawn under certain conditions as well. But they're really tough enemies, so they they'll be much I don't know what that one was, but it'll be a much higher level than me. And even when you're the same level, they have a crazy defense. Especially against weapons like guns. So, we'll just avoid that, shall we? Real nice, real quick, real good. Ah, is there anything down here? Probably a couple of cheeky items. You see what I was saying last episode about this episode? About this episode? No, about this area. I'm getting lost in my own words. That it used to be that you just book it to the end of it because why would I... Oh my goodness. Why would I, you know, stand around doing all this stuff, going all the different areas when there was no chance of anything good in any of these areas. It's going to ruin my chain, but I don't want it to kill me, so... <laughs> Vosla can stay silenced because 
He has no magic. Oh, a crossbow. Now that's pretty good. I think... Is that in the same category as Machinist or Machinist? I can't actually remember. I don't think it is. It's not Archer, strangely enough. I think it's maybe... Uh, um, might be Battle Mage. It might be Time Battle Mage. I think that's... Oh, I hate that attack. I think that's where the crossbows fall on. But they can be pretty good. More often than not, I don't find them as good as guns. They tend to miss a lot more. And I don't know, even, I've talked about how guns are a lot slower, but I feel like the, the damage is more than enough to make up for it. Most of the time. Plus, you can get different types of ammo as well. Which I don't remember from the original game. I don't remember ever having a, a different type of ammo other than, other than the usual onion shot, as they call it. But you can get stuff that silences enemies, and what else is there? There's like fire and other other elements as well, so... Yeah, I, I... What can I say? I like guns. I like shooting people. What of it? Is that a bad thing? Would you stop with the ninja sword? Thank you, Vossler, for sorting that out. Mmm. I gotta drink this coffee, otherwise it's gonna go cold. It's a little strong, actually. I think I, <coughs> I, think I maybe didn't didn't put enough milk in, or put a little bit too much actual coffee in. Hmm. I like my drink strong. That's always been the case. Ask anyone I've ever known about that, and they will tell you the same thing. These Uratan are quite frustrating. They don't seem to have a pattern of attack. They just go for me. Maybe I'll switch out to Vaughn, actually. Well, maybe I should just switch to Vossler. I mean, what's... <laughs> like, there's no downside to that. Is there a chest? Uh, there's a chest down here as well. It's weird controlling Vossler. It's nice, though. <laughs> Feels good. Alright, so the, ugh, I feel like the chest should have been there, but it's not. That's a bit annoying. Might get lucky and it's around this side. Nope, okay. Because I think there's... Yeah, Fran is still using their original short bow. I find the best thing to do in this is to even everybody out. And I'm not just talking about levels. Oh, speaking of levels, actually. Switch everybody out. I'm not just talking about levels. I'm talking about equipment as well. So, don't have one character who is... You're just constantly buying equipment for them and never upgrading the equipment of someone else. Even if you're keeping the levels the same, keep the equipment on par with that as well. There is absolutely no advantage. Wow, they do no damage to Vossler for some reason. <laughs> ah, awesome. I, I, I didn't even notice that. That's great. But yeah, there's no advantage to, uh, to having a set of characters or character who is five times stronger than anyone else. Because if that character goes down for whatever reason, and it will happen, then suddenly you're, you're uh, buggered and out of options. Hmm. I'm gonna be wired today. Alright, so... I mean, I don't think there's anything... Major to get. I'll just give a cheeky look in the guide. If you just give me one second. Mm, maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll go up here. We'll go up here. According to the guide, there is a shield. God, this feels like I'm cheating a little bit, but... I don't know. I, when I, in my other save, honestly, when I went through, it was, it was incredible. I just seemed to get, like, every item that might have appeared in a chest just seemed to appear in it. I just need to get really, really lucky. And here I'm just getting bugger all. But we'll be fine. We'll live. We'll live.
This could be risky. Don't really want to be fighting four or five of these guys at once. Alright, here we go. Even the numbers out, we'll be fine. Gosh dang it, stop casting silence. Oh god, Vanilla's gonna go down. Vanilla's gonna go down. Maybe. Alright. Now let's fix this, shall we? Ugh. <sighs> I don't have a massive amount of Echo Herbs either, so I don't really want to waste them. Items... It's, it's a bit taboo using items outside of a boss fight. Because they're instantaneous. Oh, well, they're not. There's a little bit of an animation, which is a shame. But And, you know, you can get killed before the animation completes, and then you just throw an item into thin air, and it hits nothing. But, uh... But, yeah, it's... They're, they're a lot quicker, obviously, so... I don't really want to be using them so so nonchalantly outside of outside of combat. Is that the right thing? Yeah, remove silence. I guess we can restart later. Fortunately, they never miss. That's another good thing about items. Actually, that's a good point, Morris's brain, that I just thought of. Can I use decoy yet? <laughs> because it would really, really fucking help out of this area. Where the hell is it? And why am I thinking that Fran can use it? Who could even? Uh, all right, oh, I'll look at that in the it, before the next episode. I'm not gonna worry <laughs> about that. Yet. Good gosh darn, these enemies are annoying. That MP, getting back that MP is so helpful. <laughs> I like this chain level thing. It's a pretty neat idea, especially for areas like this, because this is the first time that we've really seen it in action. And it makes sense, because it's kind of a long area to go through without without a save crystal, especially if you're trying to pick up lots of different items. So it's nice to have that little bit of a buff there every now and then, although this is kind of annoying that the enemies change up, but... Mm. I can forgive it. And slow is one of those status effects that I tend not to heal up unless, again, in a boss fight, because it goes away, eventually. Suddenly a character just goes, you know what? I'm not feeling as sluggish as I was. I'm, I'm you know, I'm all limber. Yeah. And unfortunately not every status effect is like that. And this, uh, because of the way the battle system is, that's annoying that that's Gil in there. Because of the way the battle system is in this game... It, it le it's obviously going to go towards the side of, you know, status effects don't magically heal themselves after a battle because it's just one continuous, you know, experience, I guess. It's one continuous slog through an area. Which I'm a bit undecided as to whether or not that's good. I guess I just prefer this style of game anyway, so I guess that's fine for, for status effects to linger. And I was hoping for a shield, but I guess we didn't get it. What is a leather gorget? And can anyone wear it? Is it a I-10? It is. Raises magic power and HP critical. Have you ever even seen me use an offensive spell yet? Black magic, I don't think so. That old black magic. Sammy Davis Jr. YouTube it. It's a bloody classic. Alright, we're gonna head to the next area now. 
There is a cheeky save crystal in the next area too. So that's handy. God, Vosley is such a monster. Vosler does have... I can't remember the name of his sword, actually. I'll have to look that up as well. Ow. Because you can't actually look at their equipment and, you know, see what the name of it is, but it... Every, uh, every guess that you have as, as a unique weapon, which does have a, an actual in-game name to it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I go back to what I was saying. It's it's just a, a bit of a... Am I going the right way? Yeah. It's a bit of a shame that the pretty much the entire cast is a human when you've got such potential for, you know, having other races involved. But I guess the conflict centers around the Empire, who are mostly human, and Rabinasta, who are mostly human. We just dominate. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe that's that's the, the rationale behind that. It's not like this World War 8, which is going to engulf the entire universe. So it involves everybody. But there's no reason why it couldn't involve, you know, more people from more different races from Rabinasta. I don't know. I don't know, man. Because there are areas where you team up with other races as well. On on some of the hunts, you kind of... There's a Viera that you team up with, and then there's I think there's a Seek, who are the kind of the chubby guys. With the snouts, the sort of pig guys. And yeah, oh yeah, and you team up with some of the uh, the bangers as well, the ones with the sort of snouts and the floppy ears. So they are there; they're in game, and they have you know animations and stuff. So they could have been in there. I don't know it's a difficult one because sometimes class, uh, sorry, sometimes race. In, I mean, I'm talking about in video games, I'm talking about made-up races. Sometimes race lends itself to a certain class. So if you're a race that's like a big, like they're all, you know, big muscle guys or whatever, and even the women look like men, then chances are they're going to be, you know what I'm talking about. Chances are they're, they're all going to be like tanks or whatever. So it almost presets which class you're going to be, but not necessarily. Also, what is happening with Pinello? Oh, she's asleep. Oh, that's fine. She'll, uh, she'll come with us in the next, <laughs> next area. Alright, across to the Namjenser. I will turn the page and check the chests in this area. Ah, precious. Why did I switch to Balthier? That's weird. And everybody's well again. I love that feeling. Alright, we'll talk to you. Oh, I'm, I'm going to pause it for now, guys. Uh, we're approaching, what are we on, 40 minutes? That's pretty adequate, I think. But yes, thank you very much for watching this episode of Final Fantasy XII. We didn't actually make a lot of progress, but we got through one. And you can see this area is just as big. So I guess in the next episode, we will get to the actual dungeon at the end of all this. But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support on each and every video. And I hope to see you in the next part. I'll see you later.